<laughs> oh, it's smoking! No! Oh. Hey, get that on film. What's up, everybody? I don't know how to start this video. Okay, okay, okay. Let me try again. What's up, everybody? Russell with rwgresearch.com. So I was flying the Skeet Scout. Remember this one? The one that we 3D printed the front for? I was flying it a little bit dangerously, to say the least. We put a camera on it. And I decided to run down the, the runway at as close as possible upside down. Little sketch, because this plane doesn't fly upside down nearly as well as some other aircrafts. You really got to hold it at an angle to kind of keep it where you want it to be. And it was working really well. I'll show you some footage of that right now. Okay, all right. I'll, let me try it again. Okay. I think between four and three and a half would be a good start. All right. It would look impressive. <laughs> okay. It, it looks impressive from my end. All right, here we go. Four feet, three to four feet. Ooh, yeah, that feet, was close. Two feet. I felt close that one. When I said perfect, that was about two feet. <laughs> All right, well, I got, I guess I got one more show. Let's go again. All right. Okay. But then, after that, I decided to do it one more time with a new battery, and I said, Here, Elijah, here's my phone. Can you film it? Because I can't see it from the outside. What does it look like? And then this happened. Want to see it? All right. Jump into it. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Recording? Alright, I'm gonna come around and try that again. I wanna see what it looks like from your way. I have no idea. Yeah, there we go. Just point it, we'll figure it out when you get away. <laughs> Straight into the ground. Oh, it's smoking! No! Oh no. Hey, get that on film. Straight into the ground. I got, I got confused. It's the battery. I got confused. Oh, come on. Hold on. Why'd you see on that side? Ooh. Bye. Okay. And after that, this is what we're left with. This is broken. This is broken. This is all smashed and broken. This is a problem. Good thing I can just print a new front for that, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm literally going to cut this off at an angle measure it up, and then 3D print the other part of this. Hilarious. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. This happened. Oh, and what was really crazy was right before this, and I'll show you that clip right now. This guy right here, you see how the wing's all torn up? 
I don't know if you can see that, but the wing is torn up. So my buddy Saul literally flew his jet into the back of this thing. So check this clip out. I was still looking at the shadow. I cannot see. Oh! Did we? Are we still alive? What? That was crazy! I, I felt it, I saw it, I didn't see what happened. Alright, so as you can see, that was pretty crazy. And I thought, oh, I thought I lost signal, I didn't know what happened, I got freaked out for a second, and realized that somebody ran into the back of me, which was hilarious. Um, so, the video that I'm going to show you is basically the rebuild of this. I'm not going to draw it out. It's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to probably replace that piece of wood in there and then um, make it what I need it to be here. And I'm literally just going to glue the rest of this back together. That's probably what's going to happen. The only problem is I don't really know how to get that piece of wood out and back in and cut and all the things. <sighs> okay, let's get started. Check this out. It hit the ground so hard that it literally crunched the stickers up. But I'm proud to announce my 3D printed front still glued and solid as a rock. The reason that this back end broke right here is because there's a carbon fiber rod that goes through this pretty thin, uh, you know, look how strong this back end is, like really strong. That carbon fiber rod goes through there, but it starts right here. So that's the reason that it uh, sort of uh, sort of broke. Yeah, it sort of broke. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out how they even got this in here because the screws for this are on the back. Can you see that? Right, look, they're way back there. How am I gonna get, like, there, you can see it. See the screw way back there? That's under all this foam. Here's your update. So just about, uh, uh, come on, watch, wake up, wake up. It died. Time to, there we go. Uh, just about like I don't know, four hours ago, three hours ago, I crashed this craft, and I'm already printing a new cap for it. So yes, I got the whole thing done, fixed up, <laughs> glued back together. The glue will set overnight. The stuff I use um, is this like. I don't know. E6000 welder stuff it works pretty well. So anyway, um, yeah, so I basically took my saw and cut the front off, and then I went into my software and just eyeballed it the best I possibly could, and just basically took the whole model and moved it down past the bottom, sorry, moved it down past the bottom of the uh, build table. And then when you actually slice this, it only, oh, I can pick it. It only slices the top half. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I put a bunch of, what did I do that for? Oh well, I'll just let it print. Bunch of infill in there. Uh, anyway, so it just prints that, like that. So this is gonna take like, I don't know, it says six hours, but three hours or something. So anyway, yes, the whole thing's ready to go. So I'll let you know when I get that part finished. See you tomorrow. Going to bed, it's late. Oh, so early in the morning, but it's finished. I think I can rip it off there without breaking it. She has no idea. It's a pretty big part. 
bullets on glass. It's pretty solid. I'll have to work it off. <laughs> Looks weird, doesn't it, Elijah? Because I printed it at an angle, so it's like the actual nose is like off to the side. <laughs> Maybe I can patch the front with the 3D pen a little bit. The question is, is does it fit? Two options. Reprint the whole thing or make a slice. The 3D pen does wonders, I tell you. If you don't have one, you should get one. I literally just molded those two together with plastic, so it's just as rigid as everything else. I mean, I'm sure I can grab it like this. Look at this. No problem. All day long. Totally fine. Not worried about it. Ain't coming off. And save me some weight. <laughs> There's a big hole. <laughs> You guys see the giant hole down there? Anyway, I just made it what I made it. Okay, so now the last step. Connect the remote back up. Connect all the servos and pieces. Make sure the motor spins the right way. Put the top back on it. Done. Something else I did notice. The camera broke the ring. It's actually a crack in that ring. Let's see if I can find it for you. This is like a, an adjustment tightness ring. It actually cracked the ring right there. And then the actual camera lens is sitting at an angle. Oh, see it? So I gotta fix that. That hit the ground really hard. Okay. There we go. It only took me about half an hour to finish that. I gotta finish my coffee now. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Alright. <clears throat> and then the only thing I gotta fix is the camera. But, this seems to... What's wrong with the camera? Oh, I broke the whole thing. Cracked the whole thing right there and cock the whole in sideways. Mm. You gotta take it apart? Uh, I don't know. I could forcefully push it straight. So like this right there is cracked? Yeah, and it's sideways. These tiny little threads got ripped out. See? Oh. Yeah. So my camera's like, wow, probably. Mm -hmm. And out of focus. Oh my gosh, that's, yeah. No. I mean, when something hits the ground at 5, 20, 30, 50 mile an hour mm -hmm. with 80 pounds behind it, whatever. We'll figure, that out. we'll figure that out. We'll figure out. Well, took the camera apart. I have never seen such a thing. The front glass is totally fine, but the actual CCD image sensor fell off its mounting posts and shattered. That's actually a pretty cool piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's broke. This was one of my better cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll be putting a new one on. <laughs> oh, the kids are laughing in the background, which is good. Okay, guys, so here it is. All fixed up, ready to go. I did put a new camera on there, but I took the lens off the broken one, stuck it on there. So, yep. That was about like three or four hours of work, and I just went ahead and did it because I want to actually get this back in the air. So I'm going to hang it back up. I don't know if I gave you guys close-ups of that or not, but there it is. It's all, actually I think I did. It's all just peachy. It's 
pretty solid. It's actually like really solid. Okay. Off to another day, Squit Sco. <laughs> this side's still there. <laughs> the UT is missing. Oh, 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 God, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Bear Bear is looking like, what's going on? What's going on? All right, God bless you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, asking for help is not selfish. It's a good thing. Love you, bye. Bye, bye. So you're good to go? So I'm good to go, but I'm going to let this whole video play out and you can see what I was trying to do, which was go above the runway really low. And I was getting pretty good at it until I lost my mind and crashed straight into the ground <laughs> at 90 mile an hour. But anyway, all right, Me. see ya. And I'm not reading comments from last week's video strictly because that was more of a personal video. There's lots of comments. You can read them if you want, but uh, I appreciate that feedback and I'm going to make a uh, follow-up video on that. Bye! <laughs> Straight into the ground. Oh, it's smoking! No! Alright, here we go, Elijah. Got your. Well, whatever. Yours is on the wrong channel. Um. You don't actually need to arm it, huh? All right, whenever you're ready, go for it. The camera's not at the same time, but... The camera's like washed out really bad. I don't know how much battery I have though because I don't have a timer off. Okay, yep, good! I was still looking at the shadow. I cannot s Oh! Did we? Are we still alive? Yeah. What? That was crazy. I I felt it. I saw it. I didn't see what happened. I was recording it, so that's funny. I don't even know where they are because my camera's so washed out. I can't see anything. Like, I'm really far up. They're way down, right? Let's see if this thing goes into the right. Did you see it? him up there. There he is. Okay, I see a shadow, but I can't really see him. He's coming around, right? God, I wish I could look. Okay, I see him. Alright. Oh! Going slow! Who 
he's going fast. Who's who's going fast? Is that Saul? Who's looking at the craft that's going like really fast? Okay. Am I going? Am I sinking? I'm going up. Really? I have no idea where I'm at because I'm upside down. It's really confusing. Where's, where's, um, I need to go low. He's landing, though. Okay, where's, where's Saul at? Where's he at? Oh, who's in the air? Where, oh, he is? That was, that you, you came behind me, right? You came behind me, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I have no idea what just happened, but I'm upside down. <laughs> wow. That was something. It's, yeah, I got it on record. I'm recording it. Oh, that would be funny. I can't, I couldn't see anything. All I got was flipped upside down and I thought, what happened? Uh, yes. I mean, not my plane. Yeah. Wow. This is kind of my beater up the airplane. That's good because we, we got to we got to beat her up more. <laughs> I, I, no, I acquired this. Someone told me this is really good for when the winds are cra crazy windy. Oh, okay. And, and it's true. It works good in the wind, huh? Oh, no, it does. Yeah. That was so weird because I have no idea. I don't even know what you hit. I just know I got upside down. And I thought, <laughs> what happened? You don't know what happened. No, I was just. All of a sudden, I was upside down. Were I thought, hmm. Oh, it was. Was it Superman? It was an airplane, apparently. Apparently, that would look so great on the on the video. It's really washed out, so I hope the video recording is less washed mm. out. It's really bad. Yeah. All I could see was your guys' shadow. Wow. Because and and so I was kind of trying to figure out where everyone was with their shadow, and I just got lost. So I just I just kind of stayed away because I couldn't see anything. I think my I think when you turn the camera on, depending on where you turn it on, if it's got low light or high light, it kind of auto sets. I think it auto set washed out. So I'm gonna have to try to reset it. Yes, it was. You know what I? I couldn't I, understand that for a minute. I, I came from behind because we. Oh, we, you snuck behind us. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I just was upside down instantly, and I didn't see anything happen. <laughs> All I know is I got like wonked and upside down. I thought, hmm, what happened? I heard it. I actually thought I lost signal. Oh no, I heard it. Yes, I I didn't sure. know what happened. Wow, I heard the prop hit something. I was like, hmm, that didn't sound too good. It probably cut it up, and this prop is sharp. That's not too bad. I mean, this this is like a seriously sharp Isn't prop. The chemo version two of this. Yes. They upped the motor and the ESC because this is rated for a three or a four S. Okay. Now version two is four S only. So. Okay. And it, it's got a lot more, more power. Oh, a lot more. It's already got a lot of power. Oh, with this new motor they put in, it, it, it's the, the guys that were reviewing it said it double. And, and it's surprising how many people love the sixty-four millimeter. Even uh, Freewing was really surprised when they released it. Right? 
Obviously, they made a version too because it's that popular. Yeah. Trying really, really hard to get like as close as I can without crashing. Yes. And I feel like I'm really far. That's pretty close. How close yeah. is it? I'd say you're about 15 feet. See, yeah. that's still way too far. I want to be like a foot. Oh, and go down further. I know, it's a little scary. Oh, there you go. Don't be scared. Just do it. All right, I'll do it. Commit to all right, all right, I'll commit to it. Here we go. Go back around. I'm going with the wind. Oh crap! Oh, watch out, Rachel. Oh, goodness, that was low. <laughs> oh, maybe you were below six inches. Hey, that hey! You said I wanted to go low. You said commit. I committed. <laughs> I meant commit into the wind. It felt like I was close. Oh, in the wind. You like? I was going with. I like the width. All right, here we go. All right, let's try it again. Did I? It felt close. All right, here we go. Without hitting the ground. Okay, so I can hold that. Let me try it again. I can hold that. Yeah, we'll pop it out for you. <laughs> it seems so much further away, and so I'm afraid to get closer because I know it's close. Yes. I think our foot measurements are pretty close. You guys are calling pretty good numbers. This is pretty within three feet. That's fine. I'm trying to go within one foot. You're calling three feet? No problem. All right, here we go. No, it's fine. I, I, I. Oh, a little high. Yeah. All right, one more time. This time closer. Did it? Okay. All right. I'll, let me try it again. <laughs> okay. It looks impressive from my end. All right, here we go. Yeah, that was close. Feet, feet. I felt close that one. When I said perfect, that was about two feet. <laughs> All right. Well, I got. I guess I got one more shot. Let's go again. All right. Okay. I, I, so the, it's not windy, but it's still like, it seems not stable, so. Yeah, the wind has calmed down immensely. Yeah, oh yeah. I think I'm running low. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I had enough power. I mean, I can't complain with that. It looks cool. Does it? Yes. From my, my, my view is very cool. So if you can remember that. Alright, I can remember that. On your camera, two feet. <laughs> See, this way looks different, of course, but. Well, the camera is closer to the runway when you're in the Alright. Hold on. A little close, so I get away. Hold on. I got this. Batteries, Six, seven, batteries sounding low. 15, okay, I'm gonna land oh, this thing. Look at the two birds that just swooped in. Are they chasing? <laughs> There's two birds that are chasing, chasing you. There's two Russ. pigeons. They're chasing you, Russ. Two pigeons. Right what? Over. Behind me? Oh, they're right over you right now. They're flying over us. They're gonna now. drop a bomb on you. Watch. Uh, that's normal. Watch, Eric. They're gonna drop a bomb. <laughs> <laughs>